My name is Jason Roberts and I'm the Director of CRE Respond at the University of Queensland Centre for Clinical Research and we are based at the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital campus at Hurston. CRE Respond is a $2.5 million investment from the National Health and Medical Research Council of Australia, the NHMRC. Our goal at CRE Respond is to reduce the burden of antimicrobial resistance through optimal personalised dosing. Infection causes high morbidity and mortality across Australia and worldwide, and we hope that with our research and education programs, we can make a big difference. Sharing knowledge is something which is very important to CRE Respond. And not only do we do this through publications and conference presentations and input into guidelines, but we have an extensive education program that specifically I'd like to draw your attention to uh, in this video. Our education program delivers somewhere between eight and 12 seminars every year and brings together experts from all over the world, as well as leading scientists, clinicians, uh, to share most of the current research in a very welcoming and collaborative environment. We do this both live as well as in a virtual setting as well, so they're available to as many people who are able to attend or who are interested in the topic as may be the case. We've been running this education program for over five years now and our evaluation surveys are very reassuring. Over 90% of those who attend our seminars tell us they find the education program to be of very high quality 81% say that the data presented would be useful for them in how they practice clinically, and over 92% also find the way we deliver the education to be of high quality and very user friendly. So I invite you to join us for the CRE Respond Education Program in 2023. We're very grateful to our sponsors that make this education program possible, to Pfizer, Gilead, Baxter, MSD, and the University Hospital NEEM, as well as the University of Queensland, uh, we thank you for your support in 2023.